Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Where is Loretta? <laughs> Come on out. Oh my god. I'm gonna do some hair surgery today. Today I'm gonna transform mom's hair using Brat Mondo Semi Perman hair dye. Waiting for mom to be ready and we're basically we'll start the process. She coming. This is my mom in love. Loretta. <laughs> you wanna just do like a small test patch before? We can just do it. You sure? Yeah. This is mom's hair. So as you can see, she has some white gray areas right here, a little bit more darker areas right there. Her hair is extremely curly, very beautiful, and very long. Mom wanted to change her color for the longest time. She loves K-pop, so the purple was definitely the way to go. But getting this done at a salon costs a lot of money, so I was like, forget it, mom. We're doing this at home using X Monarch color dye. So this whole jar cost me. $22 at Amazon at a time which was a little bit cheaper than buying it from the website which is $28 and I check again on Amazon and it's now $28 again so I guess I got lucky so <laughs> let's go and wash your hair so Brad Mondo said that if you oh yeah we're gonna wash it in this thing want to get the most out of your X Mondo color experience you must start the coloring process with clean hair so he recommends using a clarifying shampoo to get rid of all the buildup oils and dirt out of your hair so that's what we're doing right now using a clarifying shampoo will help for your hair shaft to be a little bit raised so when you put the color in it will stick better he also recommend to do a double cleansing so shampoo once and then shampoo one more time it was so hard for me to not tell people that i was gonna color my hair because want to see what this <laughs> by the way i'm washing her hair with warm water and only shampoo and do not apply conditioner or anything else hair is clean i have to put my hair up because i feel like i'm gonna get some purple which is not that bad now the next step into the process is quite simple you gotta blow dry the hair until it's completely dried so that the color absorbs better when you apply it on again you're not supposed to put oils or anything on your hair while you're drying it mom's hair was so thick and curly that i thought this would take me 20 minutes max but no it took me about 45 minutes to dry her whole hair i even even had to split her hair in two sections at some point to speed up the drying process at this point her hair is completely dry and oh my god i don't think the camera can capture how big her hair is right now it's puffy extremely soft and there's a lot of hair i just love it whoa <laughs> it's funny because when i was younger my hair was like twice as thick really so, oh my god my hair was just like out like because i would brush it nobody like back in the 60s like, mm -hmm. there was no product or and i would brush my hair and it's just like this giant afro it never occurred to me to let it dry naturally because uh -huh. nobody did stuff like that and so i always wore my hair in a braid so now we're gonna begin the coloring process brought mondo suggests applying the hair dye into small sections so then you can get an even distribution of the color all over the hair you know this basically avoids having patches when i opened the product i was like this is such a beautiful vivid color that got me thinking maybe mom will need to see it one more time before applying it just in case did you see the color no but right that is oh yeah yeah it's pretty mm -hmm. and it smells nice right oh yeah usually hair color does not smell nice i know so that's point I'm gonna do some hair surgery today now that she's all in, I'm gonna put on my gloves. By the way, I bought this hair dye coloring kit at Amazon, which came with all the tools you need for coloring your hair at home. It was super affordable and I was surprised with the quality of the tools. You can definitely reuse the set if you need to. Anyways, I'm gonna use this large brush to distribute most of the color dye from middle to the ends of her hair and then massage the dye a few times with my hands to make sure the color sticks to the hair and then for more precise parts like the front temples and roots i'm gonna use this tiny brush which i hope it will prevent the dye tinting her scalp now i want purple hair too 
The reason I picked X Mondo hair dye is because it's semi permanent. So if mom freaks out with the end result or she doesn't like it, then after five washes, the color is supposed to come off, or that's what Brad Mondo said. And the other reason is because this specific color is supposed to work better on darker colors, which is perfect because I didn't want to bleach her hair. And as you can see, mom has some gray, darker areas. So I hope it works. I'm definitely gonna take my time to go in super detail on each section, massage the product many, many times until the hair is evenly saturated, which is what the instructions suggest. In terms of application, I really like the consistency. As you can see, it's not liquid. It's more like a deep conditioning hair mask consistency. So it makes the process less messy, simple, and kind of reduces the waste of product because it's more easy to manage how much product you put on the hair. Plus, it doesn't have a chemical smell. So even though we were doing this for hours, we never got bothered by the smell or even felt the smell of the product at all, which was very nice. Very hungry. Dumplings is not, not the same as banana bro. <laughs> Anyways, let me tell you, it took me about two hours and a half to finish coloring mom's hair, which I was not expecting this to take this long, but based on her hair length, thickness, and my perfectionist self, it made a lot of sense that it took this long. And by the way, I ended up using a whole jar to color her hair, which I thought at some point during the process that it wouldn't be enough, but luckily it was. We're finished. And this is how the hair looks like. The color is quite nice. She's gonna have like a lighter purple hair and more like darker purple hair so she can like flip her hair. Now that I have finished coloring mom's hair, based on the instructions, you're supposed to let this process for 20 minutes. So we gotta cover the hair with a shower cap to lock the heat and this way the color adheres better. However, Bratmondo did said that if your hair is dark or natural like mom's, you can leave it for 30 minutes if you feel like it's gonna help the color stick better. But since we were in this for so long we thought 20 minutes was enough time to let this process oh my God. <laughs> I love it. you love it Old ladies are gonna flip out. yeah <laughs> gonna set the timer now mom is ready for the race here we go we're gonna see uh alex sister's reaction Hi. Hi. Where is Loretta? <laughs> Come on out. Oh my god. Come on out. Why is it purple? <laughs> Mom, why is it purple? <laughs> Now we're gonna rinse off the product. Brat Mondo did say that you should not use shampoo to rinse it out, just pure water, just rinse as much as you can. So yeah, I'm just rinsing her hair until I do not see color coming out. This step is crucial because if you want to get the best results and your color to last longer, it is recommended to avoid using shampoo in the next 48, 78 hours after coloring. So after this time, you can go ahead and shampoo as usual, but when you're rinsing, just make sure to use plain water. Okay, good. So I watch a few TikToks on how to like define curls and make all that like beautiful bouncy curls. So we're gonna do that on the purple hair. This is my first time doing something with curly hair. Once her hair was rinsed, I towel dry, and at the end, I try my best to style her hair. So I follow her curly hair wash routine, which is applying a leave-in cream, gel, bunch of bunch of scrunching in between those two, and then I diffuse her hair at the end. And this is how mom's hair look at the end. Overall, the color is so beautiful. Looks amazing on her. I love how vibrant the color is. Even in the darker areas of her hair, it worked amazing. I can see purple very well and I like that the purple color helped her to accomplish an even tone in her whole hair. Even though we only rinse with water, her hair doesn't have any chemical smell. Like it doesn't smell at all and we like that this product doesn't contain sulfates. However, there are a few cons that I would like to 
point. So this product not only colors the hair, it also contains bond builders, protein, hyaluronic acid, and oils to make sure your hair is feeling healthy post coloring. So I had a lot of hopes that it will revive mom's curls and help her to reduce frizz. But as you can see, her hair looks frizzy and it's not conditioned. It's not bad, but I was expecting more soft, bouncy curls at the end. And the other thing I noticed is that the color washed off completely on certain areas, specifically on the temples, which is so weird because I put a good amount of product and also those are white hairs. So the color should have stick to it fairly easy, but you can see the white hairs. At the end of the day, I will definitely recommend Exomondo color dyes. The whole experience was nice. Mom was very happy with the color. She was living her BTS best life. Her children like it too. <laughs> And seeing mom smiling made all this work 100% worth it. <laughs> We're done. Everybody loved it at the end of the day. I know it was a little bit like shocking, but she really, really loves it. She was wanted to do that for a very, very long time. So I'm super excited that we finally did it. It took some time and my hands at the end, they're like purple. I forgot to put my gloss, but um, it's okay. It's all good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll get to see you in the next video. Pura vida! Take this out of the, way. the chicken for later.